Good evening, sixth grade. This is Mrs. Ross. Um, I will not be at school on Friday the 22nd. Um, something has kind of come up all of a sudden. I have, I'm having a procedure done in Dallas, and I'll be back at school on Monday. Uh, feel free to email me. I spend a lot of time waiting and driving, so uh, I can always respond as long as I'm not uh, in the... Well, having the procedure done, I guess. Um, either way, I wanted to kind of show you, I've kind of changed up the lesson plan for tomorrow. We were supposed to do, I'm so sad. We were supposed to do all of these cool experiments together, but I'm not going to leave that with the substitute because I'd like to experience that with you. So I had to change our lesson plan for Friday. Keep in mind that um, lesson plans I give them to you at the beginning of the week. It's like my best guess. And then on Monday, I didn't know I wasn't going to be there on Friday. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what I have you doing on Friday. Okay, so if you go to Lesson Planners, all I did was I, hopefully you saw that, um, I opened uh, Science 6. Uh, this video is going to be here at the top, not right there, but at the top somewhere. And I clicked on the weekly lesson plan. As you can see, I've got this week and I have next week posted. So I'm going to talk about both of those. So if you open this week, the 18th, I already have it open some here, somewhere down. That's the wrong one. Here we go. So this is this week and this is the Friday that I'm not there. What I've done is I've postponed the physical and chemical station lab, the hands-on lab. The Scoot Physical and Chemical Changes activity is not due until Monday. Several of you have turned that in. I'm kind of hoping to grade that either tomorrow or over the weekend. Um, and it looks like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go to, you know what, let me snap this. So let me go ahead and pull this over here. And then this is tomorrow. So let me show you where everything's at so you can find it. In module J, unit three, lesson one, labs and activities. Um, Scoot is right here. So if you need to print something out, um, whatever you need to do, that's due on Monday. Um, oh, wait, I pulled the wrong one up here. Stink, stinker, make stinky things. I need this one. Why don't I? Let's see if I can do this. Ta ta. Okay. So finish Scoot. And then there's a biblical integration uh, discussion. So if I scroll down, um, I believe someone has already actually tried to answer this, which is crazy because I haven't, I haven't assigned it yet. But that's all right. Oh God bless. Okay. Um, so it says in the biblical integration discussion, uh, scripture says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, um, the new creation has come, the old is gone, and the new is here. So when someone accepts Christ as their Lord, could this be considered a physical or a chemical change and why? So you're going to answer that question and then you're going to answer your opinion. There's not a wrong answer to this. I don't have like an answer chambered and I'm going to like, Ha ha! You got the wrong answer. No, 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 that's not like this. I, I want to know what you're thinking is what I want to know. So, um, and tie it into what we're doing in in science. So, um, that's the biblical integration discussion. And then finally, the last one is this one: the physical and chemical changes identifying everyday life. So you're gonna have to open this in PowerPoint. And then enable editing and then save it. I'm really hoping that you're getting used to that whole, that, that process. So this first page tells you exactly what to do. Directions. On slide two, that's this one. Fill in the definitions for physical and chemical change. By now you might be able to do that without looking at anything. It's in your notes. It's in your book. Um, you've done it on at least one other uh, lab. So it should be coming pretty easy to you. What's a physical change? What's a chemical change? And then number two says, view the physical and chemical changes in everyday life example cards in slides three through six. 
So slide three is here. So they're giving you these examples. And let's take number one, for instance. It says using a mortar and pestle, which looks like this, where you can grind something up. You grind a substance into a powder, so a solid into a powder. Um, would that be considered physical or chemical? That would be physical, so number one, you would put a P for physical. Um, and then you go back here to, to two, three, four, etc. cetera. Um, and once you have that finished, uh, it says for each example, decide if it's describing a physical or chemical change. Complete the chart on slide two with your answers. Good deal. On slide seven, read the story. So let's go to slide, those are all the examples. Here's slide seven, the story. And it has these little um, things you can highlight things, you can move, okay? So what am I supposed to do here? Read the story and use the movable highlighter pieces to highlight the physical changes in purple and the chemical changes in orange. So let me see if I can find one. Let's see, gosh, it's really small. I'm gonna have to make this bigger. When my alarm clock went off at seven o'clock, I hit the snooze a few times and finally got out of bed with excitement for the morning bowl of cereal. That's gonna be a physical change, the bowl of cereal. I don't know if that counts as a physical change. I poured milk into my bowl. Okay. And then when it talks about the milk souring, that's a chemical change. Okay. So that's the on slide seven and then complete the practice activities, which are here. This is kind of a wrap it up practice. So this is not due until Monday, November 1st. You've got plenty of time. Um, and frankly, you're going to be probably doing it. Uh, something's happening outside my door. But you're probably going to be doing it next week. So you can take a look at next week's. But for tomorrow, for sure, this is what you're going to be working on. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Send me an email. Um, and I'll answer as soon as I can. Thank you. Have a great day.